second gold fleet match as Britain's team origin in fine form in round robin one up against BMW Oracle Racing and Russell Coots, a man on a mission in round robin two. Oracle coming in from the Bodine, team origin from the Pinine. It's coming down into midline, looking at a dial up. Ben Ainsley spins origin round, Coots just trying to keep the action down in this left hand corner, coffin corner dangerous place to play the game you can get caught down in here and right now Coots is definitely in control Ainsley putting his bow down and there's a touch, there's a touch in the stern of Origin against the top side of Oracle and both teams are asking the question of the umpires critical moment in the race and it's a yellow flag penalty against Team Oracle. Well, that's a huge call by the umpires. Now that opens the door for Origin to go for a time run, time on distance to the start, and a clear lead for Origin off the line. Getting on out towards the right-hand side, title relief on the right-hand side, coming up to the first cross. Origin a clear ahead after dominating the start after being caught now we get into attacking jewel up the right hand side there's actually fairway markers that the boats have to keep inside the geography of the course compressed the game shallow waters beyond the yellow markers stopping them straying progress at the beat was through a series of short tacks origin hanging in there bmw oracle racing still carrying that penalty as they headed for mark one origin on the right Around a boat length ahead as they tack for the top mark on the ley line. Origin setting up, tidy crew work required on the downwind, bear away set. This brings a bow down, 13 seconds. Nothing between, just two lengths between the two boats. Coots jibes, just wanting to take advantage of the ingoing current. Bit of an advantage to be on the right hand side going down the course looking for an opportunity, keeping it close. Russell Coots, master, as he comes back at the apprentice, Ben Ainsley, approaching the bottom mark. Problem on origin, the sail has come out of the head foil. There's not much action on the foredeck to fix it. There's a lot to do to fix this issue as they take the pole off. They need to get that sail retucked in. In the meantime, around comes Russell Coots around the bottom mark as Origin passes the bottom mark, going the wrong way. Down comes the spinnaker on top of the crew on the foredeck. That will even compound the problem. This is a disaster for the Origin team. As Coote sailed merrily on his way, Origin were in fix-it mode, but this was going to take more than a running repair. The jib once again coming out of the head foil. Origin out. Coote's had nearly to complete his penalty and sail home. Oh, it was a great race, yeah. Um, I mean, we started behind. They actually did a pretty good job, I thought, of keeping it close. Uh, you know, I saw the um, uh, sticks hit at the back of the boat and definitely didn't think the boats hit. I didn't see that. But uh, the umpires apparently think that that happened. And then got a nice gain downwind and it was shaping up to be a pretty good race. You know, and then unfortunately they couldn't get their, their jib in their fall, so that was the, the end of the race. Yes, we're in the pre-start. Both boats were head to win. And Oracle was the windward boat and had to keep clear. And then she bore away slightly and started to close the gauge. Origin bore away more. And then the both boats slowly came together and we had contact between the stern of Origin and the bow of Oracle. When there is hard contact between the hulls, the penalised boat loses a point and the other boat may be penalised a half point. Coming up, it's crunch time for the Greek challenge up against China team and the Silver Fleet. Then Luna Rossa take on the hosts. Let's Team New Zealand.